Hello, this is Lori Michelle Mashiach with guidance through Gog and Magog, World War III. The final world war will teach us compassion and true love. You may believe that you're compassionate and that you love purely, but <laughs> Something you don't want to necessarily hear that you need to hear is that nobody, no person in this world, in this physical world, is purely compassionate or purely loving in this moment. He says, except for me. And you may hate me for saying that. And I don't even know truly that that's true. I'm hearing it. From the king of the universe and if you believe in the coming of mashiach you probably study about the mashiach and the mashiach is supposed to be just that pure love and compassion that's what mashiach is supposed to be he says it's me i don't want to be this i don't want to do this but we're in the war right now gog and magog has already begun. And if you follow me and have watched my videos, he declared, the king of the universe, declared the first day of the war of Gog and Magog, which was not the dropping of nuclear bombs on us. But he says that's coming. And so you may think, oh, you're stupid. Well, that's not compassion or love it. <laughs> Clearly, but there are very good, beautiful people that I love who believe they are purely compassionate and loving. And the way to see the flaws is to show you someone that I believe is compassionate and loving, mostly, but misguided. And I want to show you an example of somebody famous who tweeted something and show you what compassion and love looks like and doesn't look like, because that's the guidance you need. Hang on, be tough, learn anyway, this is for you. I'm not doing any of this for me. I'm doing this all for you. So I'm gonna share my screen. I'm just going to plow through this and not try to make it perfect. He says it is, but I don't know that people. I'm just trying. Henry Winkler, are you familiar with this tweet yet? He tweeted something on Saturday. Henry Winkler insists he isn't wishing for devastation after controversial tweet linking cataclysmic event to unity. So I'm gonna pick this apart a little bit and show you where compassion comes from, what it looks like, what it is, and what it is not. Because you need to learn this. And as I stated in the name of this video, this war is going to teach us to be compassionate and pure love. That's what this war will wind up doing, sadly. Sadly, that's what we need. But here he is, this beautiful man, the Fonz that I love, that most people do love, tweeted this out. And let's read the tweet. I don't have my glasses with me. I hope I can see it. I'm so, my eyes are dimming. We are so divided as a country, only a cataclysmic event that makes us depend on one another again can bring us back together. The pile on, the nasty, you talk about a world that lacks compassion and love, try tweeting the truth. The truth, he speaks the truth in this tweet. Henry Winkler was spot on. True. This tweet is the truth. 
that's what it's going to require. He, capital H-E, God, who's real, Hashem, the king of the universe, has told me this is what it's going to take to snap you awake. And so lots of comments were piling on this poor man who spoke the truth. Comments quickly poured in from fellow Twitter users who seemed to suggest Winkler was out of touch. No, a moment of acute clarity. Citing the COVID-19 pandemic that has killed more than 600,000 Americans, by the way, that's ego. It's all about America. How about the world? Compassion, love, compassion. I'm not saying I don't care about America. I love America. I'm American. Ego, not compassion, not loving. As well as climate change. What the heck does that have to do with this right now? Wildfires, January 6th attack, more divisiveness. Who are they blaming for January 6th? Uh, let me think about that. Donald J. Trump, divisiveness. And even the fire burning in the ocean. I have been screaming and yelling at you about the condition of our environment and how polluted the water and air is and how I look for fish every single morning. Every morning, I look for fish. People wake up, cataclysmic event. This wasn't enough. The coronavirus pandemic didn't do it. And so I scroll down and Henry Winkler responds. The pandemic pushed us inside, away from each other. No, that was not it. Brilliant. You're correct, Henry Winkler. And I'm going to stop share. I'm going to stop share. And some of you are going to be foaming at the mouth. Oh, you're stupid. You don't know anything, Lori Michelle. Henry Winkler is dumb. Who talks like that? Who talks like that? Thumbs down to you. Is that compassion? Is that pure love? No, it's not cataclysmic event. That's what Henry Winkler is talking about. I saw one, and if you're old enough to remember 9-11, if you were a little kid, you probably don't remember it so well, but if you're old enough, it was traumatic. Wow, the end of innocence. It lasted about a week, two weeks, maybe 30 days didn't last very long. I remember going to the supermarket, the shop right in New Jersey. And for the first time, maybe in my life, people were making eye contact with me, crying. We were crying in the vegetable aisle. Yeah. We weren't too busy. We didn't push our carts to move faster. Get out of my way. I need to get going. I have soccer practice. I have this practice. I have stuff to do. Not making eye contact, which is the way most of the world is. We made eye contact. We choked back tears. There were firemen with boots collecting money. Everybody dug in their pockets put money in the boots. Do you remember that? 20, how many years ago? It's 20, 21, 20 years. Woo, woo. Oh, that was bad. And I had a conversation with Hashem just a couple of days ago. Do you know what it was about? Pearl Harbor. I don't remember Pearl Harbor. I wasn't around during Pearl Harbor. He says, my soul was. I was here somewhere in the world. I won't go into that now. But Pearl Harbor, take a wild guess. Who 
who was a behind the attack on Pearl Harbor. You think it was happenstance? You think the Japanese just had a, a brainchild, let's do this? Who do you think instigated Pearl Harbor? What did Pearl Harbor do? It brought America to its knees and into World War II. And a swift end to World War II, maybe not so swift, lots of dying, lots of death. It was necessary. Like day two of creation, Hashem created the firmament, the separation between us, the living in flesh, and Shemayim, heaven. He didn't say it was good. It was necessary. And so here we are in the end of days. And why do we have to go through a blood wrenching, a gut wrenching, bloody world war. He says it's going to be horrible. He's shown me visions. Many of you get visions. Has he shown them to you? Gut-wrenching. I wish it didn't have to happen. Henry Winkler does not want a cataclysmic event. God forbid. He is compassionate and a loving man. But Henry Winkler, as right as he was about his tweet, was wrong about his misguided support of removing Donald J. Trump from office. What the heck am I talking about? What I'm doing right now is guiding you right now through the war of Gog and Magog, you must learn to see and hear and notice things. And Henry Winkler could not stand Donald J. Trump as half the country cannot stand Donald Trump. And you might ask, well, how the heck can you be the Mashiach and a person of God and like that filthy man with his filthy mouth? And I say to you, whoever you are, look in the mirror. You are just like Donald J. Trump. And the king of the universe just said, but you're not as good as me. Wow! What the heck are you talking about, Lori Michelle? Did God really say those words? He most certainly did. Donald J. Trump speaks evil. He's irritating. He irritated Henry Winkler's good inclination, his inclination to be compassionate and loving. And how could we have a president who speaks like that? Ugh, I must make him a one-term president. And he worked very hard to remove him from office. Is that a happy day? No. Do we have unity with the new government? No, again. Henry Winkler is right, but Henry Winkler is wrong. He's compassionate and loving, but he doesn't understand compassionate and loving all the time. Why is that? Why does Henry Winkler have a problem with compassion and love when it's such an easy emotion? I'll tell you why. For the same reason he says, capital H E, that I am pure compassion and love. And you cannot be all the time without effort. Without a cataclysmic event, you cannot be compassionate and loving all the time. And the reason is, and this is his explanation, ego. You have an ego. It's about you. It's about your group, your country, America. 
sounds like Donald Trump, America first. There's truth and lies everywhere and in everyone. And the minute you have an ego and it's about yourself and your ideas and Henry Winkler, stupid, and I, I, I know better than Henry Winkler, we lose our ability to be compassionate and loving. The way to unity is through a cataclysmic event. Why? You're bringing it on. You are bringing it on. Look at Twitter. Look at all the, the comments. I purpose, purposely shut off comments. You can't make a comment on my YouTube station. Why is that? You think I'm afraid of what you have to say? I already know what many of you have to say. I'm not interested. I'm not interested in evil speech and filth. Take my post, share it, and spew your garbage elsewhere. Don't do it in my house. That's what I have to say. And when there's a cataclysmic event somewhere in the world, America, Israel, somewhere else in the world, you're going to be sucker punched, ugh, like 9-11 times a million, millions. You're going to drop to your knees and he's going to break that ego, that klipa, that hard shell around you that separates you from God. It separates you from everyone else. And that's what's required for you to become pure, compassionate, pure compassion and love. What you really are. That's who you really are. Your soul is pure love and compassion. You come from the king of the universe, pure love and compassion. You get here, you get in the body, and you know, you start tweeting and woofing, and it's all about you. It's not all about you. And Henry Winkler, bravo, he's completely right. Am I wishing for this? No. I'm wishing and praying and hoping for unity, compassion, and love. And through the words of Hashem, he says, capital H-E, through love, education, and charity, you, me, and everyone, not everyone, most of us will come together and we will heal the world. I hope you listen this far. Henry Winkler. Give the guy a break. He's trying. He wants unity. Hashem just said Joe Biden too. You just don't know which way to go. It's the blind leading the blind. I'm glad you made it this far. If you did, keep watching. Read the Torah part too. I explain where all the problems are coming from and how you are the solution. God bless you.